Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's kiki, which is Robin Dixon fumbling the bag, fumbling the interview, fumbling her chance to save her job, I think that Andy Cohen sit down with her during Watch What Happens Live was an olive branch for a way to save her job. But like Ebony K. Williams said, she conceded nothing. And I think that is actually the final nail in Robin's coffin. Andy was pissed. He was not enjoying it. And I also noticed something in Robin's alleged story about Juan and the, the girlfriend in the hotel that I think proves she's lying. And then I'm also going to tell you guys what I think the real question Andy should have asked Robin was. But before we dive in, oh, so also, so also, you guys, um, well, we can also do a recap of the season finale as well. So let's first talk about Robin fumbling her Watch What Happens Live sit down in a lie that I'm going to expose that she said. And then we can get into the finale review. But before we do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. And be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and sign up for our newsletter. It is free. Check out our self-love courses. And with that, let's dive into this mess. Now, first up, this is the biggest lie I think Robin told. And I can't believe it took me this long to catch the lie. Okay, so you know how Robin said when he when Andy Cohen asked, and she also said this allegedly on the Patreon. I didn't pay for that BS, but this is what everybody else was saying was said. And, and she said it last night on Watch What Happens Live. She said that the girlfriend told Juan that she was at the hotel and she like her purse was stolen at the casino and so she couldn't pay for her hotel room so he had to come over and put his credit card down i don't know why it took me this long but ding 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 that makes zero sense in this day and age when you book a hotel you have to put down a credit card in order to save your room and then when you check out what do they do? They run the credit ca card that is on file. Where can you book a hotel room without having a credit card on file in order to reserve your room? Especially this day and age, everything is digital and everything's online. You book the you reserve the room online with a credit card. Why couldn't they just run the credit card that's on file? This day and age, you don't even have to show an ID or anything like that once you already have checked in. Because when you check in, you check in with your ID. But they have a credit card on file. So that story makes zero sense. Sauce Girl says they usually ask you for the physical card when checking out. I've never had that happen. I've never had that happen where they ask me for the physical ch card when checking out. Usually they just say run the card on file. Usually. We have to go back and see which hotel that they were at and we can see what their po what their policy is, but because you can you know how I know you don't have to because you can do even remote checkout. Where you where they just run the card on file and you just drop the key and you don't even have to do checkout anymore. Their whole story makes no sense. It makes no sense. Juan booked that hotel room with his credit card for his girlfriend to come in for Canada for them to have a lover's weekend. Let's call a thing a thing. Now, this is the question I thought Andy should have asked her. So when he says, oh, do you think Juan is like, you know, selling you a bill of goods? You know, do you think that his whole credit card hotel girlfriend story is a bunch of BS, obviously. And she's like, no, like, I thought that at first, but then I chose to believe him. The follow-up question should have been, did you and Juan 
together make up this BS story in order to cover the fact that you've been lying on this show the entire time, to cover up the fact that you were lying this entire season, to cover up the fact that you and Juan are not in a real relationship, to cover up the fact that he wasn't actually cheating because you guys aren't actually together. I would have grilled because uh, this is where I felt it was flat was I still think that Andy was treating Robin. I know he was pissed. I know he was upset and all of that stuff, but I still feel as though Andy was missing the point. And the point isn't that Robin is a victim. The point is that Robin is a perpetrator. She was the one who was actively lying and hiding, deflecting and all of that stuff. But the questions that he was asking and I'm not just saying Andy Cohen, the, the people in his ear that are feeding him the questions they need to go to because they were still treating her like she was a victim of Juan's cheating and she was just trying to cover up, you know, Juan cheating on her. That's the gag. That's not actually what's going on. That's the farce. What's actually going on, and Ebony, and Ebony K was being very diplomatic, but she basically was saying it. She was like, yeah, well, the entire time, you know, there's been questions. You know, you guys got married, you got divorced, you have the kids, you're together, but you're not together at the house. You know, Ebony K was basically being like, yeah, the entire time we were kind of like, this isn't real. But I don't think Andy caught on to that. So I think it's good that Andy grilled her, but I still wasn't satisfied because he was still grilling her on the wrong questions. Like even the bartender, whatever his name was, he was like, yeah, what's the real reason you don't like Dr. Wendy? Like that was a much, that was a real good question to ask. That was a better question. And she still had a BS answer for that. She was clearly stumbling, fumbling and lying the entire time. The entire time. She looked like a freaking joke. She looked like a joke. And I know Andy was really trying. <laughs> you know, it's like you get an A for effort. Like I give Andy Cohen an A for effort, but I still thought there were so many more questions. Like when Robin was like, oh, you know, the girl came out with lies, so I had to correct the lies. If I was Andy, I would have been like, well, what were the other lies? You know, open up, open it up. What were the other allegations, right? Let's talk about the fact that the girl said Juan and his friends like to find women to pass around sexually. Let's talk about the fact that the girl said that Juan's friend exposed himself to her and then expected her to do a sexual act on him. You know, let's also talk about the fact that this whole the girl saying that she was dating some Ravens guy or some other athlete. That also makes no sense. If the girl was being flown out from Canada to Potomac or Maryland or to wherever the hell they are actually living. Why didn't Juan call him and say, dude, your, your girl is stranded here, you know, at the hotel, go handle your business. That also made no sense. And now that we're talking about it, to be honest, this now gives more credence to what the girlfriend said that the guys get together to find women to pass around sexually. Because why would Juan and his friend, and this is according to Juan, and this is according, well, this is according to Robin saying that this is what, what Juan said. Why is Juan, you know, having a sexually inappropriate communication, whatever they're trying to lie and cover it up, with a woman that his friend is also allegedly having sexual communication with to the point where he's saying it's the friend that flew her in. That's a, isn't that exactly what the girl said? That Juan and his friends find women to pass around sexually? Why would Juan even know this woman and be acquainted with her enough to pay for her hotel room if something sexual wasn't going on? And why would the friend also be involved? So to be honest, Robin, your BS lies is giving more credence to what this woman is saying more than ever, more than ever. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, let's also talk about what else didn't make any sense. Um, 
honestly, the whole the whole thing to me was whack. I was waiting for Andy to give it to her. I was waiting to, for her to actually tell the truth in any type of moment. And it just never happened. It never happened. She needs to be fired. So does Giselle. She claims Ashley didn't know. That's a bunch of BS. Oh, this is what I was going to say. You know what I also thought about? That this exposed what is actually wrong with these franchises and why it goes so dark. Because when Andy was asking Robin about like, you know, why did you withhold your information? Why did you withhold what's going on in your life? And she was like, well, it didn't film then and it wasn't filming and we resolved it. A bunch of BS makes no sense. Well, Karen has a lot of secrets. Karen, Karen, Karen. First of all, keep Karen's name out of your mouth, Robin. It has nothing to do with Karen. But that's the problem with the franchises. And that was the biggest problem of this season. Instead of the women showing up to the show to say, I'm going to show my life, the good, the bad, and the ugly, it has now become, who can we expose? Whose secrets can we reveal? Who can we target? Who can we take down? And that was so clear during this interview. And I think that is the pivot in Housewives that, um, that has made it go dark. And that's what I think the demise of the housewives have been. Because if you think about it, when housewives first started, it was about let me show you the show you the decadence of my life. You know, let me show you my husband. Let me show you, you know, my 2.5 kids. Let me show you my mansion and my cars and my jewelry and blah, 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 blah. It was more like lifestyle of the rich and famous, right? Let me show you my life. Let me bling, bling, bling my life. And it has devolved. And to what Robin was saying, well, I have all this dirt on Karen. I have this and everybody has skeletons. It has devolved into, instead of I'm going to show you my lu my luxurious life, I'm going to try to target, expose, and bring down all, all the other women. Do, do you guys think so too? Like that kind of has been the pivot that has kind of ruined housewives. That's why they get together to have these quote meetings to say, what storylines are we going to have? And the storylines are always, who are we going to target to take down? And I think that's an important pivot that has happened that has kind of ruined the franchises. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Robin needs to be fired all day long. She really, really does. I think she was lying through her teeth. The credit card made no sense. This day and age, you have to put a credit down to hold the room at a hotel room. And then at the end, they just run the card. That's pretty much it. And then they send you an invoice, which is why she had the invoice as her receipt to show. You just run the credit card and they send you an invoice. So obviously she was lying through her teeth. All right, you guys, I'm going to start taking some Candy Cane's question and comment about this. But for everybody watching on the replay, I want to know what you think. Put it down below. Is it pretty obvious and pretty clear that Robin was just lying through her teeth and she needs to be fired? Not just for lying, but for systematically going after other people, lying on them and trying to take them down when the entire time she's not only sitting on the biggest storyline, but she's sitting on the biggest lie. I think Juan and Robin have been lying since day one. Since day one. I don't think they've ever been back in an actual relationship. I think it's all been a front. Since day one. That's why she's so nonchalant about everything. Because she's actually not affected by it. She's affected by being called out. But I don't think she's affected by Juan's, quote, cheating because he's not cheating. And are you like me where you're like, you know, Andy, I know you gave it your all, boo-boo, but you still lacked in asking the real questions. You still lacked in actually exposing her. You still were act treating her like she was a victim of Juan's cheating, where I think she thought she was, a again, a dumb criminal, but I actually think she thought she was being a mastermind of a lie and a cover-up. I think her and Juan and probably Jizzy Neck Giselle got together and made up this lie about the whole credit card, this, that, and the third. 
I do not for one second think that Juan is lying to Robin. I think that they're all in it together and they made up a lie to try to cover up the tracks. And I wish Andy would have asked her that to get her response. Are you lying to save yourself? Have you been lying for the last seven seasons? Are you lying right now? Not is Juan feeding you a BS story, but are you feeding us a BS story? Girl, bye. Put it down below. Stick around, Candy Canes. I'm about to stick your Candy Cane questions and comments. Um, but before I do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below where sign up for our newsletter. It's free. You get a free self-love guide. Check out our courses, our podcasts, and more. So with that, you guys... Let's take some of your candy cane questions and comments. I'm also going to drop the link in case anybody wants to come up. As always, there is zero pressure.